Good morning, gamers. Welcome back. I am the AMDM lead. This is my cup of coffee, and you're watching from Atom Games. So, real quick, this is video 199. That means tomorrow I will be drawing a name from this list, which has grown exponentially in the last couple of days. Thank you. Um, for the drawing. For the drawing, and what does the drawing include? It includes some dice. It includes some miniatures. It includes some modules. And uh, so make sure you're subscribed. If I've missed your name, make sure your list is public. I can't catch them all. There's 51 names on the list. I have... That means 20 of y'all aren't on my list. All right. So we're going to get into today's topic. What are we doing today? We're doing the 30 day critical role challenge campaign one. Now I will be doing this campaign, this challenge again, when campaign two finishes up, we'll see what changes. So today, we are on day 15, what's your favorite Liam moment? Ooh, I've had a couple. I loved his one shots and that voice he does, that speaking spell meets uh, child's play, I don't know, uh, that evil speaking spell voice he does. His... His character Jane in the Barroom Blitz one shot, which was really cool. I just got finished re watching that. That was fun. Uh, I think my favorite Liam moment is when they get the Death. Oh, whew, it's a tough one. The Death Walkers war Ward was one of my favorites. I guess it probably is my favorite when he comes back to consciousness and finds out that Vex has died because they didn't check for traps on the armor. And then he goes over to Percy and just BAM! Just knocks him... Just cold cocks him. I, I loved that. When he, when he took... When, Liam... More than the other cast members, well, Vex. All right, Vex is not my favorite character because he reminds me too much of myself in my younger, beautiful hair days. The dark brooding, I was wear all black and be cool phase. Uh, it's just it's a little too close to home. But he is a very emotionally deep person. Liam is. Liam is, is very much gets into character and, and makes you feel those moments. When uh, I, I forget the kid's name, the, the guy that wanted to come up to, you know, be a member and learn to be a Vox Machina, and then... Vex shuts him down. Shuts him down hard. And then the kid goes off and becomes a bad guy. And then Vex turns him, turn, takes him and spares him and, and turns him into one of the guards. Uh, he, is, he is a deeply emotionally troubled individual, for one. He definitely has mommy issues and daddy issues. Not Vex. Vax. Whoo! Ooh, damn, I'm going to get some play on that. Vax has some serious emotional mommy and daddy issues. So, but his moments his moments with uh, Vex, well, not necessarily his moments where he is telling everyone, I am a fuck up. Why are we doing this? We're shit. We, we, we're worthless individuals. He doesn't see himself as a hero of any sort, and honestly, Box Machina shouldn't. They're not 
in the grand scheme, they're reluctant heroes. They're they've been, well, fuck. And, and I see that in, a little bit in campaign too. But that's the beauty of dungeons, dungeons and dragons. D and D is awesome. Uh, Vax's storyline with his run with the clasp and wow, my favorite parts are, are, are him him and Percy oh oh no no I okay I, I, I love those moments where it's it's Vex it's, it, they're usually emotionally charged moments you know the ones that make you sit down and cry and bawl your eyes out but I'll be honest, my favorite moments are the fun ones. The really, really fun ones. And my favorite moment, and I just remembered this, and I watched it, or rewatched it the other day when I was looking up uh, Travis moments and Sam moments. This is when, and Talison moments, this is when Vex, Vax, Vax and Grog are down in the pits. He goes, uh... I know you like tacos, <laughs> but uh, I would like to offer you an experience. And that whole scene where they give, where he's talking to Grog, trying talking about the putting the the love potion in Scanlan's drink. <laughs> but it sounds like he's coming on to Grog. Uh, I love that. That was that was probably my favorite moment with Travis just sitting over there going, uh, I'm not sure where you're going with this, man. <laughs> that was one of my favorite ones. But those heart-wrenching ones, when he's telling Gilmore that while I, you know, I love you, I love her more. I, I, that 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 was heart wrenching. Those are some of my favorite Liam moments. I, I could go on. Liam Liam is an awesome actor. They're all awesome. I, I like them all. I, I follow them on their all of their little things. I try to catch all their little one shots and their guest stars and all that. It's just too much. They do so much. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and stop that video there. Tell me what your favorite Liam moments are. And leave a comment. Post it on Facebook. All that other good stuff. Y'all know Y'all know what to do. Uh, this is this is D&D. &D. This is YouTube and D&D &D in the modern era. So yeah, just let me know what your favorite moments are. And that's all I got for today, guys. So if you like the videos, please click on the like button. If you think someone else would like them, please click on the share button. Every like is an inspiration, every share is an advantage, and every subscription is an experience point. Help me reach 300 experience points so I can get to second level. And as always, for every video that you share, the AMDM does hereby authorize you to have 10 experience points. That's all I got for now, so go roll some dice.